What's going on my What Buzz My Turbo people? As you can see, I am not Emma Jo Earls. I am Philip Gibson, the man behind the camera. And this is a Philip Gibson photography takeover of What Buzz My Turbo special edition midweek episode. Let's get it started. <laughs> So, what we're going to be doing in this episode is taking a little trip down memory lane, showcasing some of the funniest moments that we have made on this channel so far. We've had a great time. We really appreciate each and every one of you who have tuned in, watched the video, liked, commented, subscribed, and just have really enjoyed this journey with us. It's only been five months, a little over five months, and we've reached 500 subscribers. We've almost reached part of our monetization goal, which is crazy because it's only been five months and we, we started with nothing. Like no one knew who we were. We were just these two guys that had an idea and it came together and people really seemed to enjoy what we're doing. And we, like, like I said, we really appreciate that. But this is more than just a trip. Emery doesn't know this. But here at What Boys My Turbo, everyone involved, we really appreciate Emory Joe Earls. So this video is also an appreciation video for the man himself, the face of the channel. Without him, none of this would be possible. Emory, we love you. You're one of my best good friends. And this is for you. to do here is we have to secure her mouth because these things got incredible suction power like they've been known to suck a golf ball right through a garden hose you have to avoid their nether regions okay because within the nether regions they're known to carry the deadly herphocephalitis not every day you get to catch one of these hard creatures hard nasty nasty stanky creatures <laughs> smells like rotten peanut butter and methamphetamines i'd like to introduce the greatest ever. Come on over here. Come on, greatest ever. Ah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show. Oh, well, all right, Mr. Greatest Ever. So uh, I'd like to welcome you to the show. <laughs> yeah, glad to be here, man. You know, thanks for, you know, inviting me. You know, uh, I watch your show. I mean, I think you're doing, think you're doing really cool things. You know, so, yeah, thanks a lot. You are one handsome. Stop it. Fucker. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know, I'm not gay. Bitch. Kind of made it. <laughs> you might be right. Mm. So everyone got some breaking news. So uh, we're gonna go to Jonathan Weaver into the sack right now. You were here at the local graveyard. Hello, Emery. Emery. What the fuck, man? Every time this happens, what the fuck? God, I'm so tired of shit. I'm quitting. I am quitting. What the fuck? In a graveyard. It makes no sense. Oh. Oh, oh crap, uh, we're, uh, we're gonna have to get back to our regular show. Hey guys, I know you wanna do these YouTube videos and all, but you got things to do. Emery, what the heck are you doing? I'm out of here. Oh shit, I dropped it. First on the list, what we got is cut the grass. What 
watching that video right there. Whose fault would you say that was? Oh, that was the driver's fault. The trucker's fault. That was definitely the trucker's fault. They were all in their phone not paying attention. Because <laughs> they had that stuff on top speed. I mean, I, I hope everybody was all right in the video. I hope so, too. But I'm kind of curious about the one that had the palm tree land on them, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, ouch. They probably got slapped in the head with some nuts. <laughs> Cocoa nuts. Cocoa nuts. Yeah, that's right. Coconut oil. <laughs> oh shit, this is my belly growl. Oh. YouTube. Whoopsies! I believe I just messed up. Uh, the older you get. More things don't work like they should, and I just made a big mistake. Never trust a fart. So I got some, uh, I got some cleaning up to do. I gotta, I gotta run into this loves down here. Oh, God. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, it's ridiculous. Dun, dun, dun. I left my mask in the truck. Shit. Oh, God. Just had to walk back to the truck again. The bathrooms are closed because we're cleaning them. So now it's time to go old school. Ugh. Yep. Well, YouTube, I'm all cleaned up. And now it's time to, you know, dispose of, uh, yeah, this, uh, yeah. You always want to bring extra, you know, underwear, socks, you know, uh, shirts, you know, everything that, uh, it does bring extra clothes because shit happens. <laughs> oh my God. Cut. Eleven hours is up. It's time for bed. What the fuck? Cut. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Is this thing on? I forgot the other line. Cut. So, Eric, now that I'm here, what, what do you want to do today? Well, let's sit down on the swing and, uh... <sighs> hmm, I could think of a few things I'd like to do. Well, first what I do is I like to squat, and then I do a little pushing motion, like, uh, uh, and then when it comes out, I like to take the presidential hand and swipe, swipe. So, Mr. President, what is your stance on Nancy Pelosi's political statement against the coronavirus? Well, Nancy Pelosi, uh, 
you know, is Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi? Oh, God, no. What are you doing in Trinity, North Carolina? Well, my eyeballs are so squinty that I have a hard time seeing where I'm going. So, uh, I answered the phone call that I shouldn't have answered, and uh, I said I would. So, here I am. So, there. Next question, please. Mr. President, how many woodchucks could have chucked shit? Well, if he starts shitting wood, he's going to get a splinter in his ass. And uh, that's not good for anybody. Well, Mr. President, I, I, I'm Mr. Beast. Do you watch my YouTube channel? Yes. Yes, I do. How does it make you feel to know that I might have more money than you? Uh, that's impossible. I have all the money. I bought a country. I don't walk like Egyptians. I'm an American. That's not for me to Dr. Tiny Nuts. It's Tiny Newts. Yeah, whatever. In my professional medical opinion, that sounds more of a deep-seated problem from your youth. Now, I don't normally do this with my patients, but you're a special, special specimen. This is Mr. Boney. I just want to ask you one question. Point to the doll exactly where he touched you. What the hell does this have to do with anything? I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is crazy. Eighth grade. Shed. Woodworking. I saw the second he walked in. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Sounds to me like you have a very rare case of road rage called Trucker's Tourette's Syndrome. <laughs> so, what does this mean? Well, to be honest with you, um, in my professional opinion, you are paying me $97 an hour to be here, so, um, I think you should just come back tomorrow. What, what the hell? This is highly irregular. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy f***ing redneck. <laughs> Bony. <laughs> Damn, I'm fat. <laughs> that hurt every bone in my body. Oh, I don't know if I can go back to work Sunday. Swift. Stevie Wonders Institute for Trucking. Ah. Swift stands for Stop Whining. I'm freaking trying. <laughs> J.B. Hunt Just been hired Unfortunately Not trained <laughs> Oh my goodness Up here uh, What blows my turbo peoples See these little Orange cones here This must be a Snyder breeding ground With all these Snyder men Trying to get some subscribers for real. <laughs> this brings a whole new meaning to the word chicken head. Not, not. They're not coming. Give me just a moment. Okay. 
Damn, he speaks chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's hilarious. Hey, can I get two large mocha fraps? That's it. Thank you. Oh, you're the man. You're awesome, bro. Thank you. This video is going up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> He got warrants. <laughs> <laughs> he got warrants for real. Again, I'm gonna go to that tree. you to my ventriloquist puppet. I've been working on my ventriloquism. So here we go. It's pretty long. <laughs> oh, hey there, Mr. Yukon Cornholius. Hey, Henry. So, uh, what you been doing since, uh, Rudolph? Looking for gold. What about silver? Silver and gold. Those are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> hey, Emery. Yes, you know sir. the first thing a good prospector does in the morning? What's that, my friend? Take a drink. Oh, well, let's see if we can't make this happen. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you got it? Oh. Oh. Wasted. That's better. What, what is this over here? Ah, this is my pickaxe. Because every good prospector. Oh my mm. god! Didn't have the grip type. Uh, maybe we should work on that grip a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Emery, tell me a good joke. Well, uh, did you hear that they had to shut down the uh, Greensboro Airport? For what? 
heard there was a Harris Teeter driver on there looking for a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> so how's it feel to have a, a man's hand in inside you? You tell me. <laughs> so, uh, did you hear about the truck driver named Mark? No. They say he's a little person. Okay. <laughs> Never heard that one, Never. Oh God. All right, so we have to prop these legs up right here, like this right here, and like this right here. I'm gonna go in here and see if Philly's all right before we go in here. <sighs> Oh, crap. Hey, Philly. 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 Are you in there? Oh, it's terrible. No, it's too late for me now. Save yourself. Hold tight, Philly. We're going to come in after you. Crikey. 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 It's just like throwing a hot dog right down the hallway. Oh God! Hey, Jakey. Yeah. All right. It's way bigger than I thought it was. <sighs> yeah. Oh my God! I went into the wrong hole, Jakey. Oh my God. Oh God! Your big sausage finger head and sucker face. All right, gentlemen. So are you ready? You're already crooked. All right. Jesus Christ, his arm's so big. <laughs> Are you trying? I'm trying not to go the other way. <laughs> I'm really trying a lot. I'm gonna lose. Your arms are too long. I can't go no Your arms are too short. <laughs> Damn, my arms are short. <sighs> I thought they called you the greatest ever. I mean, he obviously works his arm out more than I do. <laughs> obviously. I guess you'd say it's left hand. Here, Papa, get out of my face. <laughs> Alright, so all in the spirit of Thanksgiving, we're going to show you how we fry turkey over here while blows my turbo. You ready for it? Now that's how you fry a turkey. Alright, Mr. Beast does this challenge where he fills his brother's house full of elephant toothpaste. I'm gonna fill my whole mouth with this toothpaste. Look, Mr. Beast, I know that you spent almost 24 hours underwater. We can't do that. It is uh, too cold. Way too cold. And they don't make a wetsuit big enough to make this look good. Facts. So uh, instead, we're going to chug some milk. Bottoms up, big fella. Bottoms up.
Cut down about half of it. Not me. Oh, who won? I won. In your face, Mr. Beast. What's up with those black eyes? You look like a trash panda. You know, you look like RJ from Over the Hedge. You know, you look like Rocket Raccoon from The Avengers. You know what? Another thing, Ray. You look like the special needs love child of. Eugene Levy and Luis Gomez. You know, another thing with the black eyes, you look like you just robbed a bank in 1940. And what kind of name is Ray Williams Johnson? You sound like a serial killer. I bet you got people locked in your basement right now because you're way too short. You're in the attic. Hey, you know what else, Ray? You look like a cross between that mad scientist from Looney Tunes and Steve Buscemi. How'd you even get here? You know, did you take a car, come over a mountain, go through a secret tunnel underneath Trump's wall? Have a narrow A hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. Probably better swallow meat anyway. Mmm. Feel the heat? I don't feel the heat yet. Oh, I mean, die off. It's got a pretty good little flavor to it. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? I ain't letting them win. <laughs> How you feel? I got a dragon on my ass. Hope everybody really enjoyed this montage of what we've done since July. We just really want to wish everybody a merry, merry Christmas from What Blows My Turbo.